Okay, this is a quick little follow-up to the last video on the Kingpin. So now some people may say, and you may occasionally find in a service manual where they talk about using a feeler gauge and leaving the vehicle sitting on the ground without it jacked up and supported. So you got to think the tires pushing up on this lower are keeping it from going down anymore. The weight of the truck is pushing down on this axle. So your play is going to be between the top of the axle and the knuckle. Now they may say you can put a feeler gauge in there and tell you a specification. Just remember there's a in service, which means a vehicle that's been on the road and been used. And then there's a new, so don't get your specifications mixed up because new is when you're putting a new king pin assembly together, you're going to build it tighter knowing that it's going to wear over time. So there's two sets of specifications, one for the vehicle that's been used, one for a new king pin assembly that's being installed. So if you take a feeler gauge and measure this gap, they're saying you can check and see if it's excessive. Most people prefer to jack it up and use a pry bar. And if you want to get technical, you could put a dial indicator here on top. That's probably the most proper way to check it. And so you have to set it up on the axle, have your dial indicator up here on top of the knuckle and pry it and see how many thousandths. The red freight we just checked inside has about 92 thousandths of play in that so it is probably going to find that it's not within specs but look up your specification for your task sheet and that way you will know okay uh, one thing a little bit better vision here I know this is last week's stuff but this is that steering stop we were talking about with the square head and the lock and hit nut here and it's going to go and hit this machine place right here for the stop to stop the tire from turning just a little extra while I was here and remember that if you're checking that lateral movement we talked about you would have to set a dial indicator up move the tire in and out and see how much the steering knuckle is moving in and out because that's a bushing in here and a bushing in the bottom that's war allowing the knuckle to go side to side instead of up and down so that's the lateral part of it lateral is best I can tell about three thousandths on the red freight so that's your specification for the lateral 92 thousandths for the up and down